Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of our video on how to use Goodwill Giga Web. The topics to be covered in this particular video are order book, trade book, net position as well as a few miscellaneous features which are available in Goodwill Giga Web. Now let us move to Goodwill Giga Web dashboard. This is our Goodwill Giga Web login dashboard. Firstly, we will cover the topic of order books. To check your order book, simply move to the orders option available here. The order book has already been selected and as you can see the SBIN order which I had placed previously was rejected due to the lack of funds. As you can see the reason for my order getting rejected is RMS auto square off block. This means that I have placed an MIS order after market hours which is not allowed. Hence RMS or risk management system has blocked my order. Next, we check out the trade book. The trade book will show you the details of all the orders which have been executed. You also have the option to filter your executed orders by applying various filters. For example, you can filter it by product type by selecting the product type from here. You can also filter your executed orders by exchange in which you have placed the order and also by the segment in which you have placed the order. You can even check the orders between a particular start date to a particular end date as well. Simply click on the calendar available here. Select the start date as say 1st of December 2021. Click on OK. And as you can see, the filter has been set. Since this is a newly opened account and I have not yet placed any orders, my trade book is completely blank. To check your net position, just click on the net position option available here. The MTM for the day in which you have traded will be available here. Even in this net position window, you will have the option to filter your orders by product type, profit or loss, exchange, as well as segment. Positions can be converted and be squared off from both net position window as well as trade book. Now let us move back to the dashboard and check out some miscellaneous features of Goodwill Giga Web. On top here, we have the index view. You can change the indices which you want to view by simply clicking on the small arrow which you see here and select the index which you would like to view. In order to change your password, simply click on the settings button here and change your password and save it. The theme can also be changed from dark theme to light theme and vice versa. Just click on this and save. As you can see, I have moved to the dark theme of Goodwill Giga Web. Additionally, the default product type can also be set from this default product type setting. Suppose you are an intraday trader and mostly place MIS orders, you can simply select this and save it. Now, if I go back to my watch list and try to place an order, you will see automatically the MIS option has been selected. In order to view the chart of a particular script from watch list, simply click on the script and the chart will be available here. Stock Report Plus is a payable feature using which you can download the stock report of particular scripts. As you can see, a sample stock report of Infosys script has been already made available for your perusal. If you would like to activate Stock Report Plus, please do contact our support team and learn about the charges. Clicking on this will also activate another payable service called Trade From Chart, which will allow you to place orders from the chart directly. As I have selected SBIN, I can also see the associated futures contracts over here, the options chain for the latest expiry. I can also change the expiry from here. You can check out the latest news regarding SBIN, the financials of SBIN, company information as well as market movements for the day. If you would like to change the interval, you can change it from here. You can even download the market movement data for this particular script. If you click on yes, a CSV file for the same will be downloaded. In case you would like to view the chart in a bigger format, simply click here and then once again click here and the chart will open with a wider view. To change the interval, simply click here and change it. For different types of charts, suppose you would like to trade using bar chart or line chart, you can simply select display and set the chart 
according to your preference. Various indicators can also be added from the studies option. As you have already surmised, these options are very similar to what we see in our Giga mobile app. The markets option can be used for a general overview of the equity, derivatives, commodity as well as currency markets. You can check out the top gainers, top losers, 52 week high, 52 week low stocks, most active volume, most active value, etc, etc. In the derivatives option, you can even check the open interest gainers and losers for the day. Your holdings can be viewed from here under my portfolio. You can also view your holdings from the holdings option available here. Alerts can also be set for different stocks. Simply go to watch list, select the script for which you would like to set an alert and click on this particular bell icon and set an alert for the same. Details of your alert can be viewed under the alert option. Let us move back to the dashboard. And with this, we have come to an end of our video on how to use Goodwill Giga Web. Thanks a lot for watching this video. For any further queries, feel free to contact our customer support team by, by emailing us at customer support at the rate gwcindia.in. You can also WhatsApp us at 733-889-5491 or call us at 044-403-2999. Happy trading!